Hey guys, it's me Kiana and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my December TBR. I have six books that I really do want to get to this month. Four are on physical, two I do not. So I'm going to start with those two and then move on to the physical copies that I do have. The first book that I do plan on reading or listening to technically is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. This is the second and final book, well, so far that we know of, to the Villains duology. The first book is Vicious, it's right there. Um, the This, okay, so with Vicious, we follow Victor and Eli Manna, and it's a future past story that we see them when they're best friends, we see them now that they're enemies, and all of that. So... In their senior year of college, they both come up with this thesis, and Eli's is for eels, extraordinaries, that if you have a near if you have a near death experience and you wake up, you have some type of power on you. I absolutely love Vicious. I have read it twice, and now that Vengeful is out, I'm gonna listen to it on audiobook for Scribd when I'm on my way to school. When I'm in school, on my way to school, and back, you know, back and forth. I just love Victor. He's such badass. And a lot of people have a lot of good things to say about it. And I'm ready to see what it's all about. So to continue on with my Cassandra Clare reread that Emma from Emma Books is hosting. No, so I'll be somewhere on the eye. I'm going to be reading Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. I do not own a physical copy, so I'm going to be borrowing... I'm either going to be listening to the audiobook from Scribd or borrowing, like, the ebook from Scribd. And it's basically... Well, I don't know what it's about. I just know it's... Simon is narrating it, like, kind of. Um, gonna read that. And then I can read Lady Midnight and then Lord of Shadows. And then finally Queen of Air and Darkness. And I'm good. So, yep. So now let's move on to the four physical books that I have. So the third book I want to read this month is Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Maas. This is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series. This hopefully takes place right after um, Hair Fire. Yep, like now she, the, it, the queen has returned. She's back in adrenaline. She's gonna go get her. She's gonna go see Dorian, see Chael, see all of them, get her friends back, and go to Ab Abram. I think that's how you say his name, and get back the necklace that was on her the day her parents died. As I do read, as I am continuing on my reread, this was the last book that I read before I stopped reading the series. I didn't remember what happened past the hair fire, so this is going to be brand new to me. I do take my time reading it, and I do tab it up as I have done for the past three books, and I do do a book talk on all of them. I'm gonna record my hair fire book talk later this week, but I honestly cannot wait to read this. I just love Sarah J. Mass's work. So the fourth book I want to read is the Charles of Apollo book one, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Wright Odin. This is another spinoff series. This is this takes place after the blood of Olympus. So basically you read Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Heroes of Olympus, and then Charles of Apollo. You can read this and Magnus Base and the Gods of Asgard trilogy at the same time. But this is basically Zeus has Apollo has angered Zeus. Zeus blames him for gay awaking and him, and Apollo not warning the guys. This has happened before. So Zeus strikes down Apollo as a 13-year-old boy. Who has to go to half, um has to go to Camp Half Blood and complete these five trials. This is the first trial. And he meets friends. He meets friends along the way to help him. We do see the old characters like Percy, Annabeth, Piper, Jason, Leo, Hazel, and Frank, and other people along the way. And I'm really excited to read this. <clears throat> okay so the fifth book i plan on reading is i cannot believe i actually own this um i bought this last month and this is wild card by marie lou this is book two the final book and the war cross duology and this picks up right where it ended and wild um war cross is about this girl mika chan 
and on the opening night of Warcraft, she hacks into it to steal this gem. And she thinks, maybe if I steal this gem, I'll be debt free and I can go on living my life. No one is supposed to see her, but they do end up seeing her. And the next day, the dude who creates Warcraft, Kaido, flies her out to Tokyo, pays off all her debts, and basically says, I'm hiring you as a bounty hunter to help me catch this guy named Zero who is trying to hack into my business and shut me down. We all know who he is, and I just, I cannot wait to see this. Marie Lu packs so much information and draws you in so much with a little book. Like, this book is... Three hundred and forty-one pages. And this is less than Warcross. Warcross was three hundred and fifty-one, three hundred and fifty-three pages. So she packs so much stuff in this little book, but it draws you in for a lifetime. Cannot wait to read this. I think this will be after I finish reading my two current books that I'm reading. I'm probably gonna pick this up. I do tab them as well. Anyway, so the sixth and final book that I do plan on reading is to continue on my review for Harry Potter. So it is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the new edition that we have with the Hogwarts on the cover. So this one is Harry goes to the Quidditch World Cup of 1994. And then when he goes back to school, two other wizarding schools are with him. Bua Bonks, which is like the French all-girl magic school. And then Durmstrang, which is the all-boy, like Bulgarian wizard school and we have the tri wizard tournament which i love and somehow harry's name gets pulled into the mix and he is now the fourth contestant to compete along with cedric diggory fleur delacour victor crumb and here is the fourth one and this is basically when voldemort comes back and no one believes and no one believes harry so Cannot wait to read this. This is my precious. So these plus the four books that, I mean the two books that I do plan on reading that I don't have a physical copy of are the books I do plan on reading in the month of December. I do read more in December because I do go on winter break. But the first couple weeks I don't read that much because I am finishing up finals, studying for finals. But yeah, so that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be leaving here videos I just feel like you guys should go check out. I post Mondays and Thursdays, and I will see you guys next time with my November book haul. Bye, guys.